we'll just line up. We'll get the engine spinning. I'm gonna, of course, close the drag uh, landing system. And we have 15. Launch. We're up. And of course, the next test being bringing up the wheels. Gear does induce some drag, a lot of drag, not a crazy amount of drag, but enough. And uh, putting down the landing system gives us the rest of the drag we need for landing properly here. Um, and here we are. Whoa, whoa, this is crazy. Okay, whoa. Yes. We break. And I'll just check the wheels. 1.8 structure. 2.4. Okay, so they're undamaged, completely undamaged. We took off. We landed. That was a pretty quick takeoff and landing, I'll tell you that much. So I'll shut this engine down, primary engine. Because when we do resume uh, with the ship itself, we don't want operating the engines on the, the throttle on the actual ship to mess with our aircraft so let's get this parked I think a 45 kind of degree angle on the on the deck is pretty nice so that's what I'm gonna go for here leave the br put the brake on okay and then all we have to do is drag our, our oops not our rest slider so we have to drag our park distance slider up and there we are connected so everything's working beautiful um, take off, landing, parking, uh, the last thing I guess we could do is, uh, as part of the maintenance cycle here, we can right click, we can, shift, alt, fill up our aircraft, okay, so we've refueled, um, another thing that you could possibly do is repair the aircraft now, I've gone and added spare parts uh, a little bit of spare parts to the actual con tower so you don't have to include the uh, repair station um, any as long as you, you you're within 40 meters of the carrier center you'll be able to um, make use of the spare parts in the con tower and repair your aircraft simply by getting out and right clicking any part and hit fix damage it will then repair the aircraft to to new status. I think it uses 0.25 of the parts, so you'd be able to repair four aircraft without, before you would run out of spare parts and need to be reloaded from another vessel connection or whatever whatever the case may be. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I probably will pack this up. I have to do a few other minor changes and then uh, it will be a matter of uh, you know just getting the new copy and uh, um, hope you have fun with it. Let me know your thoughts and, uh, you know, uh, other uh, things that you think might improve this a little bit. Alrighty, good night. In any case, this is the launch. Let's just keep our fingers crossed. I've throttled up. The thrust is built to 15, and uh, I'm just going to hit tab, and it was catastrophic. <laughs> Take two, I did a little bit of tweaking to the code, let's see what we can do. We, let, we wait for it to build up some thrust, hit tab, and we're off. <laughs> okay, so I think I've solved it now, I have the forces going in the right direction. And, uh, I think this is good. Uh-oh. However, I just broke the front landing gear. Come on, girl. Stay with me. Come on. Yep. Got it. Yes. <laughs> it still rolls. It's just, uh, 
the flat tires are just a damaged state, so it doesn't have as you know it doesn't have optimal traction and uh, handling and all that stuff. So if we just back up on here, thrust again. I use two two ticks on here, generally speaking. You can ha you can leave it at zero, but then it has to spool up while it's taking off. It, you, you want to spool the engine up because the jet engine takes a while to spool power. You want to at least have a little bit of thrust with your brake on. Hit tab. You see? Okay. <laughs> that wasn't good. <laughs> so, taking off with the flat tire is not something you want to do. Okay. And then we have... Tap. And off we go. Oh! <laughs> okay, so that wasn't good. But anyway, it didn't blow up. So all we have to do once we've landed is increase the, um, you have to move this sometimes, increase the parking distance up, usually 0.9 or 1 or somewhere in here. We'll connect it to the ship. Doesn't seem to want to connect at the moment though. And hit brakes. Oh, I know why. Okay. So we're going to release. Sometimes Sometimes what it does is it, it tries to connect and it, it, it thinks it's connected, but it isn't. So you'll see a release thing in here. Make sure you release that before you try to connect. We're going to go back to the space center. So here we are. The launch, system, the launch process is a little rough. <laughs> um, but we're going to see what happens here.